All right, hey witches, I am back. This is Hectario, and in this video, I want to talk about consciousness. Source consciousness, and how that relates to your empowerment and magic. Now, I've had insights coming into me from Goddess Hecate in the past um, on this certain level and I'm going to share that with y'all but more recently uh, I've gotten more further understandings and insights about uh, this certain lesson that I'm going to share so what is that lesson is this Goddess Hecate taught me in some dreams um, that basically she taught me that lucid dreaming and astral projection astral travels more so astral travels to other dimensions and lucid dreaming are in a way they are tools for actually learning empowerment for your physical life and for your waking life reality because you know, in lucid dreams, you are able to control and shape the reality that you're experiencing there, however you want it to be. And obviously, you know, most people are going to end up shaping it how they want their reality to be, how they want to experience or what they want to experience for their happiness, okay? And, you know, that's all fine and well. But what that's doing on a deeper level, it's training your mind to be more uh, of a co-creator of your reality it's programming your subconscious mind to be more of you know the type of person that is magical in your waking life um You know, meaning that in your lucid dream, in your lucid dreams, in the dream world in general, when you become lucid, you take control and you begin to create what you want that dream life to be. The more that you do this, or even if you just do it one time, and then you take that lesson with you into the physical world, into your waking life, physical reality, then apply it in the same way. You know, this is your God consciousness. You have the same power to control and create your physical life that you do to control and create your dream life. There's different methods. Okay, 
you know, you might have to physically do things to control and shape your physical life. So the methods may be different, but the ability to shape and control your physical life, how you want it to be for your happiness, is the, it's there, it's the same. Okay. So you're lucid dreaming. Your lucid dreaming mind. You can carry that over into your waking life. And apply its creative power. And self-mastery. To your physical life. To shape it how you want it to be. All right, that was one of the first lessons that came to me from Hecate on that, on that subject. Now, more recently, she has taught me something further. You know, on the sen on the same subject matter, and. This is even of a more of a deeper understanding of it and a deeper knowledge of it. So, when you have your lucid dream, or rather, when you dream in general, your waking consciousness of, you know, who you are Sometimes you, you don't you don't remember that in your dream. Sometimes you just completely forget your waking life. And you're just living this dream life. Okay. And that's actually the majority of people who dream and how dreams are. Uh, when you become a lucid dreamer. Even then, you may not recall your waking life, but you may just develop a measure of control in the dream life itself. Other times, you will be perfectly aware that you're actually, you're in your physical life, you're sleeping and you're dreaming. And you will still be lucid dreaming. Okay. This is a template on the microcosmic scale, on the human scale. That actually gives you an insight into understanding how source consciousness works, what it's going through. Um, how the divine is living through us. So let me explain that. The divine is one one consciousness it too you know it can be seen that it is dreaming though not really and I'll break this down more but just for the sake of the example um, imagine that God the source consciousness is one being that goes to sleep and it begins to have a plethora 
of dreams. And each of those dreams, each of those dream lives, is one of us. Okay? I'm one dream of the God consciousness. Um, you are another dream that it's having. Everybody is a dream that the God consciousness is having. Okay. For the sake of the example. If you are able to realize that you are the source consciousness embodied temporarily in this human shell you can become a lucid dream of the God consciousness of the source consciousness of God all right just like when you dream if you become aware that you're dreaming you can become a lucid dreamer and control and shape the dream how you want it to be so God the source consciousness the divine mind can do the same through you if you become aware that you're not actually your ego identity the entire life that you're living is temporary and fleeting just like a dream you your body is just as temporary and fleeting as one of your dream cells all right now depending on what level you're at this knowledge can be scary if you are in your ego and you haven't overcome it yet um but we really are just a spirit all of us um, an immortal divine spirit that is like one ray of light from the central sun that is God or source so you don't have to be scared of this knowledge because You know, it doesn't mean that you don't exist. <laughs> it just means that you're not what you thought you were. Okay, just like when you're having a lucid dream. You're dreaming, you think you're this person, and you've just forgotten who you really are. And then you become lucid dreaming. That doesn't make the dream just end. It, it makes your awareness grow. And your power in the dream grows because of that awareness. It's the same. When you understand that you're actually God itself. That's, you are that source consciousness living in a temporary life time and your body's a vessel a tool actually your most powerful tool during this lifetime and you don't just stop existing when you die either uh, you are that source consciousness and you are it right now and you will continue to be it 
you know, the only thing that dies is your ego perception of what you are, really. Um, all that dies is the illusion of who you are and what you are. So it's really nothing to fear. Um, you know, when you found out that Santa Claus wasn't real, did your entire world crumble down? Did you die? No. Just that false reality construct. Belief about reality. That died. It's the same, you know, when you become aware um, of God consciousness and how you're really just the source consciousness and body for a short time in this lifetime. Um, only the illusion of, only your illusions about who you were before that knowledge that's what ends um, your previous false beliefs about who and what you are okay so the ending of that is no more scarier than just waking up from a dream coming back to reality, all right, it's not scary, actually, um, so, I don't know who's all watching these videos, but I know that some people are scared of awakenings, depending on what level they're at, um, and, you know, divine knowledge, but, it's really not something to be uh, fearful of. And it's actually the best thing for you. Okay? And you want this. Just as how much it's how you desire to lucid dream when you go to sleep at night. You need to be desiring to become, you know, elusive liver or you know in, in this lifetime in the physical lifetime you want to live your life lucid and aware of the fact that you are source consciousness embodied okay so I wanted to share that now, with all of that said, I'm not actually saying that your physical lifetime is a dream or an illusion. It is very real. <laughs> but um, it compares to the process of you dreaming, lucid dreams or regular dreams. Okay there's a relationship of the mental process of that you know your physical life is real okay let's get that clear and straight <laughs> um what is the dream is your beliefs about it how you think of it, the mental process of how you understand your life. Either it's a dream and you're not aware that you're the source consciousness and body, or you're aware of it and, you know, you understand the truth, basically.
you await while you're in this lifetime. So I just wanted to share that because I thought it was very important to get out there and for all of you to know. I know a lot of y'all already know this as well, but maybe you just haven't looked at it from this perspective as the way of how Hecate recently taught me this. Uh, I had never looked at it from that perspective before until she taught me, so I just wanted to share that. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to share that and let me know if you have any questions or if you just have an input on this, leave those below in the comment section. Um, and I'll see y'all on the next videos.